Guess what? I found the Noosa North Shore video. It's on the editing suite. You're gonna see it now. You've waited. I'm sorry for everyone that was in it that was waiting for it. it cost me a thousand dollars to get the computer upgraded to a four trig hard drive so the bloody thing would work. I've got it back, so enjoy the episode and enjoy how much I spent to send it to you. Can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's probably the best thing you've said. Remember that hint, no dogs, no cats. Don't leave them home. Yeah. This morning having a B the BHD, do you know what a BHD means? Bad hair day. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, very windy. Looks like it wants to rain, but we're gonna go down because there's been reports there's crocodiles on the beach. There are camel rides, you can find camels, but the crocodiles, as you may have heard through the Brisbane Times, may move to Brisbane because the ecosystem's actually moving south, being the barramundi. They're catching barramundi in the Brisbane River and Moreton Bay, and that's crucial to crocodile habitat uh, to create the ecosystem they require to survive. The temperatures need to increase and that's happening with this global warming. Believe it or not, if you're a believer or a non-believer, the crocodiles will give you the answer as they'll start swimming south. Anyway, let's have a look and see if we can find north of Noosa some crocodiles on the beach. Okay. Now, for all the doubters out there, these are pretty genuine reports that there was crocodiles on this beach this morning so crocs where are you crocs <laughs> so it's true there's crocodiles on the beach at north shore noosa it's true the room is true look there's two <laughs> well i hope you have the intellectual horsepower to understand my absurdic humor i hope i haven't scared you off but now we're actually on the noosa north shore exploring this uh part of the island absolutely brilliant the only way to get here is by ferry like i said and uh yeah got a, we're driving up from brisbane in silver tail Be cognizant of the fact that the tea trees lean over and may hit your roof. I was thinking around here, do you reckon I'll fit in there? Yeah, I think that's Yeah, for the night. Right on the beach, in amongst a tea tree forest. I must admit, one set of neighbours are a bit close, so I hope they're not um, into um, any boom boom music. But there we go. Well, they're Johnny. I've made the van as comfortable as possible with a new doona cover. Watch out for those crocs. <laughs> oh, look at that one. That one come from New Guinea. Here they come. I went running along the beach with two crocodiles just to 220 keep 220 bucks. Unbelievable. And it's like brand new. Getting ready to go to the information yeah, centre now. Picked up a board That's along awesome. the way. That was a great buy, that board, from Sideways yeah. Surf Outlet, Noosa. Hey Gazza, what do you reckon about crocodiles moving now? From, uh, oh, I think they are, mate. Like... This crocodile moved from New Guinea 50 years ago. <laughs> Only 100 Behind kilometres me from north Noosa there National are crocodiles. Park, you can Look see at this. In the distance, Noosa North Shore. Make sure you subscribe, I need more. Okay, found the information centre. Just hope the natives are friendly. Okay, uh, where are we? I'm a bit lost. Okay, you've arrived today at the Great Sandy Information Centre, Marindal Street, just across from where the Noosa Ferry leaves to take you to the beautiful Kalula, Noosa North Shore. You certainly would. You do need a high clearance. You can, not actually um, in the camping provided by Queensland Parks and Wildlife, yeah. but you can cross 
um, on the vehicular ferry and stay at one of the local campgrounds on the other side and still enjoy the sights. And how much is the ferry to get across to the National Park? It's ten dollars cash each way. Each way cash. Yeah, it's it. I love that. You never hear that word anymore, do you? <laughs> Not much, no. <laughs> There's the actual fair. So it'll probably only be about 300 metres, the actual journey. Got these little kangaroos. Okay, now this is going to be different. There are wallabies. You will oh, have wallabies, to watch okay. for wallabies, yeah. And what about in the water? <laughs> oh, there are sharks. Yes, there are yeah. sharks. Oh, there's always going to be snakes over there, yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, we have snakes live around this building. We've got a red belly black that lives yeah. here as a permanent resident. Very shy, red belly blacks. Australia is the only country in the world to have more venomous snakes than non venomous snakes. The iguana that lives here and he goes around and raids the bush turkey nests. You know, so the poor old, I don't think that bush turkey's had any chicks in years. We do have some local people, yeah. when they find snakes in their backyards or inside their homes, they, they actually come and ask to release them here oh, into this really? part of the national park. It is very busy. Yeah. There's a fishing competition going on over there. Yeah. I'm on the other end of Fishing. Yeah. You, you, who's this who was fishing? My ex-husband was ex. fishing. Yeah. Friend of the family. Friend of the family was yeah. fishing. Yeah. I'm um, coming in from the Mooloolaba channel. Yeah. He was going obviously one way, coming in, and a big mackerel came out of the water and hit him Where? in the throat in the ribs. throat he broke his ribs can you tell me one thing did he eat the mackerel <laughs> the mackerel actually survived and kept going oh, really? shut up bird <laughs> i'm trying to film uh so when you're uh driving around here be careful because there's koalas and kangaroos or wallabies. So for $36 I found this little gem of a site. There was only two sites left but beware of those tea tree trees. They may hit your roof. <laughs> As you can see I had a near miss there. It was so close I had to be so careful. So uh, be aware of that that when you go and get a park on the far campground that you're going to have to deal with um, the trees now i've got a mid roof so it's fine if you had a high roof you might be in a bit of bother there you wouldn't be able to pick that spot so just be cognizant of that fact because you could end up having a ding on your van and we don't want that you want to have happy times you want to be a happy camper then amongst the bushes you'll find short block even has a dump dumping station for your pool. Oh, it's pretty quiet actually, all the natives around here behave themselves. There's a curfew, they send you a text at 10 o'clock at night to say it's time to be quiet, it's quiet time. Isn't that civilised? That's absolutely unbelievable. I reckon it's awesome. So it's about 6.30 in the morning at Mr. North. You see, it's blowing a bloody gale. I'm trying to hide the clock. Distance. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Stay Awesome Van Life. 